my Kaylee 7. Greetings from Central North Carolina. This is April 6th, 2016. I'm riding to school and the temperature has dipped down to 38 degrees this morning. I had to go get all my warm weather gear on again. Well, most of it. So I have a topic today, thanks to uh, Orvis. Uh, the topic is short-sightedness. What do I mean by short-sightedness? Well, let me tell you. In Tennessee recently, they just passed a resolution to make the Bible the official book of Tennessee. So here's here's where the short-sightedness comes in. I mean, forget about that whole argument, separation of church and state. We know that already. Here's the thing, though. Go to anybody in Tennessee who supports that Bible thing as the, as the official book. And you say, okay, well, how would you feel if a city, let's say Detroit, or a, a state, let's say Michigan, with a large population of Muslims, how would you feel if they made the Quran the official book of the city or the state there? And then when you just sit back and watch the racism and the xenophobia ooze out of them, explode out of them. That's an American! See, this is the short-sightedness of it. If you can make the Bible the official book of a state, then what's to stop somebody from making the Quran or the Talmud? or the Bhagavad Gita, the official book of the state. Nothing, because you've set the precedent. That's how things happen. You set a precedent, and other stuff happens after. So I think it's stupid. Obviously it's against church and state, but whatever. Next thing, Clinton going on about how we have to hold the gun companies liable because people use those guns to, to hurt and kill other people so the gun manufacturers should be open to lawsuits and I'm thinking oh that that also sets a stupidly dangerous precedent short-sightedness yet again so let's say you allow that to happen you say okay from now on anybody anytime somebody shoots somebody with a gun the victim can now sue the gun manufacturer. Well, what if I use a knife to kill somebody? Is the knife manufacturer now liable? What if I use a hammer to kill somebody? What if I use a rock? Who do you who do you sue when you when it's a rock? You're gonna sue God in Tennessee? You see what I'm saying here? If you can sue a gun manufacturer because somebody misuses the gun then you can sue anybody for misusing anything. Stupid and short-sighted. <sighs> At least that's my view. And then this thing about uh, Ted, you know, not Ted Cruz, uh, Donald Trump wants to build that wall and the price keeps going up. One billion, two billion, now it's up to 12 billion he's saying. And here's how he's going to do it. He's going to say, okay, I'm going to use the Homeland Security thing, Patriot Act, to restrict all Western Union transactions so that no money can go to Mexico. And then Mexico is going to come screaming and yelling about it, so I'm going to say to them, well, if you don't pay for the wall, I'm going to keep this, this pipeline of money shut off. Like, really? Really? First of all, it's, an, it's a gross abuse of power to just shut off the ability to send money to Mexico. I mean, I could see it like you can shut off money to terrorist organizations, but Mexico is not a terrorist organization. So that's a, a gigantic overreach of government power. And you know how I hate overreaches of government power. God. And then to hold Mexico hostage, so to speak, it's childish in the extreme. It's ridiculous. 
that, that somebody who wants to be our president is advocating such a ridiculous thing is just stunning. It boggles the mind. So anyway, that's my little take on short-sightedness. I think we're getting up on the traffic here, so I don't know if I'll make much more of a video. I think what I'll do now is sign off. Uh, before I go, I will say thank you to my new subscribers who recently have posted comments on my videos. Very nice comments. Thank you very much for joining me on the channel here. A couple of people actually from North Carolina, so awesome. Hey guys! So thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Watch out for the cars, because they are not watching out for you. This is Mike Kaley 7 and I'll talk to you later.